Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a follow-up to the one I just did a couple hours ago, and this is going to show you the change, whether you call it minor or not, uh, including all the fixes and everything in the backup and restore section of Android Job Box. This has taken me a while to work on. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of time in a row, so I kind of split up my uh, my work over several weeks, but it should all be working. Now, my test phone here is the Google, uh, or well, if you want to call it Huawei, I guess, uh, the Nexus 6P running Android Oreo. And we are no longer on a developer preview. This is the current OTA build OPR6.170623.019. So this is a, a actual final OTA factory build. None of that uh, developer preview terribleness that just it just was absolutely it was horrific so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into backup actually get into backup backup and you'll notice that there is a new camera and uh, obviously the pictures folder from before i split them up so that you could uh, download and back them up separately so all of your uh, albums and everything that you have saved that are for viewing only uh, those all stay in pictures assuming you've moved them there. And uh, everything in camera is stuff that you're actively taking that's unsorted. You're just, uh, say you're going out on a trip. This Everything you put in camera has yet to be put in an album that will eventually go in pictures. So you can back up everything that you just took, and you'll probably already have a backup of your pictures. So this seriously saves the amount of data that you need to download. Uh, including restore, actually, if you want to think about it that way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a full backup. Now, this is everything on internal storage, uh, everything you see here with the inclusion of anything that you don't see. So this is literally everything. So overwrite local files with current device files or wipe current uh, local backups and start fresh. So real quick explanation, overwrite overwrite local files with current device files is essentially a merge. So if you have files named one, two, and three locally, and you have files named one and two on your device, it'll overwrite the stuff on your computer that's named one and two with the ones that are called one and two on the device, but it'll leave three alone. It will not delete it. If you choose wipe current local backups and start fresh, it will erase the backup folder on your local computer, only within the job box uh, folder, and then pull in everything as it is from your currently connect, uh, connected device. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do. Since I have no backup uh, here, let me put on this side. Since I have no backup, it doesn't matter which one I choose. We'll just do wipe current and start fresh, whatever. So it's going to show uh, the progress in total, the file that's being pulled in, and the total for that file, all in one line. So obviously I don't have a whole lot there. I was trying to make this uh, go as quick as possible for the video. So backup complete. Cool. Let's go here and backup. And this is everything right here. So we have, excuse me, wow. Okay, so we have about 11 megabytes worth of stuff here. And we're going to make sure that when we push it back, uh, unlike a previous version where it was kind of borked up and I, I apologize for that. I kind of, I, I'm not really sure how I missed that, <laughs> but uh, I struggled with it because it just, it was so bad. But it was complete oversight on my part. I'm sorry about that. But it should all be fixed now. So when we push it back, we should still have the same amount on the device as we backed up. And it doesn't erase anything on the device. It simply pushes back and overwrites. Now that's a key thing to understand. There's no function in here, and at the moment that's intentional, that will erase the contents of your internal storage on the device. The reason I did that is so that you could not mistakenly 
break or lose everything you have just in case your backup, for whatever reason, went haywire. Maybe you backed it up, uh, you went to go delete it thinking you had a good backup, and maybe you hit shift delete or something happened and everything got corrupt. Who knows? Any number of things. But that's completely intentional. So when you push anything back here, it will overwrite and merge with everything that's on your device. So at this point, if you want to add things to, say, the ringtones folder, you want to add another album, stick it in pictures, um, or create another folder because uh, Google Photos, for example, searches the entire phone. So it doesn't all have to go in pictures, but if you want to be able to use Android Job Box to back your stuff up, you're going to want to leave it in those dedicated uh, folders. Um, maybe you want to take everything only from camera. Maybe you want to delete your uh, data, your app cache, so you can delete the Android folder. Um, maybe you want to back up TWRP. That's currently not an option, but I might add that in. Uh, so forth and so on. Uh, when you're ready and you've got this organized as you'd like on this side, we can push all of this back onto here. Now, if you had, say, a folder in pictures called Reunion 1, and you rename it to Reunion 2, and then you push it back, your device is now going to have a folder called Reunion 1 and a folder called Reunion 2 with the same contents. That's not going to overwrite anything that's on the, on the device, so be cautious of that. If you need to completely delete a directory currently, go into your device this way and actually delete a folder, or if it's easier for you, rename it this way. I'll think about adding a feature in for that at another time. So let's go ahead and push everything back. And ah, I already see another bug. Again, I'm not sure how this was an oversight on me. But, uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's late, guys. I'm usually getting ready for bed at this point. So, restore and full restore. Okay, so first it will list every empty folder. And I'm still going to push the folders, but it's going to list every empty folder. And then it will put the progress of, uh, in total, the file and per file. So, again, I try to keep it minimal. Everything looks like it was good. Let's go back here and we are going to open up next to 6p on this side so there should be 12 and i have 12. let's compare the two here six files 41 folders six files 41 folders it's perfect so it does work uh finally <laughs> now Granted, there may be a couple devices, in which case this does not work. Um, I'm really not 100% sure how this will handle a device with uh, an available micro SD card slot. So um, currently, when it's pulling off of internal storage, it's pulling off of the slash SD card partition. Don't confuse that with the difference between actual internal storage flash memory with the removable micro SD card. Just because it has that name does not mean that's the location it's pulling from. I will have to work on uh, compatibility with phones that actually have that uh, with micro SD card uh, expansion on it. But uh, I don't personally have a device anymore um, that has one. I sold my uh, Galaxy Note Edge uh, a couple months ago and that was the last device I still had that even has that kind of option so I can't really test it but uh, once I get a device or a loaner or something then I'll be able to go back and check that so yeah that is really the biggest uh, update to Android Job Box at the moment um, there are some more things that I will be uh, working on here and uh, optimize OGG files so the sound files on the system uh, for example 
I'm considering an option that will pull all of the sound files off of the system partition, optimize them, and then add them to the appropriate backup folders in your backup. So if you want to make, say, a, uh, a sound pack or a pack of, uh, of audio files for a custom ROM or for a friend or for you, um, if you have access to the system partition on a phone, hook it up, use the option, and you'll have all of the sound files and they'll be optimized. So kind of it's like a, a little bit of an all-in-one. Um, I have some other options uh, floating through my head at the moment and I'm not gonna discuss them quite yet. I'll let those be a bit of a surprise, but uh, I'll put the link to this in the description below. Go ahead and let me know if you find any more bugs. If you'd like to make a pull request, I'll have a link to my GAT Hub account in the, in the description below as well. And with that, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video.